The Asian openbill stork is a large wading bird in the stork family, Sikinidae. This distinctive stork is found mainly in the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia. A relatively small stork species with a grayish to white body and black wings and tail with a hint of gloss. The Asian open bill gets its name from a distinctive gap in the dull grayish yellow bill. Note the pinkish legs. Young birds do not have this gap. Asian open bills inhabit wetland habitats including shallow marshes, flooded agricultural fields, and lakes. From a distance they could be confused with herons, but they can be clearly distinguished from herons by their feeding habits wading slowly through shallow water. Young birds are born without this gap which is thought to be an adaptation that aids in the handling of snails, their main prey. Although resident within their range, they make long-distance movements in response to weather and food availability. The Asian openbill is a broad-winged soaring bird, which relies on moving between thermals of hot air for sustained flight. They are usually found in flocks but single birds are not uncommon. Like all storks, it flies with its neck outstretched. It is relatively small for a stork and stands at 68 centimeters height. The usual foraging habitats are inland wetlands and are only rarely seen along river banks and tidal flats. On agricultural landscapes, Birds forage in crop fields, irrigation canals, and in seasonal marshes. Birds may move widely in response to habitat conditions. Young birds also disperse widely after fledging. Storks are regularly disoriented by lighthouses along the southeast coast of India on overcast nights between August and September. The species is very rare in the Sindh and Punjab regions of Pakistan, but widespread and common in India, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Thailand, and Cambodia. During the warmer part of the day, Asian openbills soar on thermals and have a habit of descending rapidly into their feeding areas. Groups may forage together in close proximity in shallow water or marshy ground on which they may walk with a slow and steady gait. The Asian openbill feeds mainly on large mollusks, especially pila species, and they separate the shell from the body of the snail using the tip of the beak. The tip of the lower mandible of the beak is often twisted to the right. 
This tip is inserted into the opening of the snail and the body is extracted with the bill still under water. They also feed on water snakes, frogs, and large insects. When foraging on agricultural landscapes with a variety of habitats, Asian openbills preferentially use natural marshes, lakes, and irrigation canals as foraging habitat. The breeding season is after the rains, during July to September in northern India and Nepal, and November to March in southern India and Sri Lanka. The Asian openbill breeds colonially, building a rough platform of sticks often on half-submerged trees. Courtship involves male display of nest-building behavior, a sexually selected trait. Males do this by showing females potential nesting sites and manipulating materials for nest construction. In doing so, males demonstrate the qualities of their genes and willingness to invest in reproduction. Females choose good nest builders so they can save energy and maintain good physique to meet the costs of reproduction. The nests are close to each other leading to considerable aggressive interactions between birds on neighboring nests. Both parents take turns in incubation, the eggs hatching after about 25 days. The chicks emerge with cream-colored down and are shaded by the loosely outspread and drooped wings of a parent. The time taken to find food was most impacted by the location of wetlands around colonies, and the progression of the breeding season. Adults look the least time to return with food earlier in the season when the dominant rice crop was most flooded, and time increased as the rice ripened along with the drying out of the fields. Males may sometimes form polygynous associations, typically with two females which may lay their eggs in the same nest. Typically laying two to four eggs. Young birds at the nest are sometimes preyed on by imperial, steppe and greater spotted eagles.